Hello all, welcome to session 18 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate printing using write and write line statements. So let's get started. In C sharp, we can print using write and write line statements. In the previous sessions, we have already used this write line. Let me demonstrate it again, followed by write. Okay. So here we go to the Visual Studio ID. Here we have a sample program which is already written, having a main method and all. Inside the main method, first I'll write the write line method. Okay. So for printing, I'm going to use this write line, console dot write line. So how to write that? So here I'll write console. I'll just mention console dot. So here this console is a predefined class in C sharp from system namespace. Okay, system is also predefined namespace. From this namespace, we are getting this console predefined class because namespace is nothing but a collection of classes, right? So this system predefined namespace is a collection of predefined class known as console. Under the console, if you say console dot, you will get this right. Okay, just type right here. You'll get these two variations that is right and right line. So we have already used this right line in the previous session. So let's uh, explore it again. Console dot right line and uh, provide the circular brackets, put a semicolon. And here provide something that you want to print out. Okay, if you don't provide anything, nothing will be printed. You see, if I if I simply say console dot right line, nothing will be printed in the output. If I run this code, just see in the output, you will see nothing will be printed in the output because I didn't mention anything inside this right line. As you can see here, we got this prompt where you see nothing got printed in the output. Okay, when I run this code, you see nothing got printed in the output. I'll close this part. Now, here inside this right line, I'll provide something. Let's say I'll provide in double quotes, I'll provide my name. So here, why we have to provide double quotes, I'll explain later, guys. Okay, for a while, don't worry about that. For now, whatever you want to print in the form of the text, right? If you want to print some text, that particular text you surround with double quotes and provide that as an input to the right line. Now run this code. You will see that whatever the text I provided in the double quotes inside this right line will be printed in the output console. Okay, in the output you see my name got printed as I mentioned here in the right line statement. Done. Okay, so here what I will do here is I'll write. This is a sample statement or otherwise this is first line. Okay, this is first line dot. Okay, and I'll write one more console dot right line. I'll provide the circular brackets, put a semicolon at the end. So I'll write this is second line dot. Now I'll write console dot right line this is third line i'll say okay third line and put a semicolon at the end so here we we have written three console dot right line statements and each and every statement has this particular text say different text saying this is first line this is second line this is third line if i run this code if i run this code all these three lines this three particular text will be printed in separate lines okay why because here right line after printing this text it will move to the new line guys okay the the purpose of using the right line here is to print this particular text in the output and after printing the text it has to move to the new line then in the new line the next uh, text will be printed after this also since there is line here it will go to the new line and after that this particular text will be printed by the right line and because of the line it will move to the new line okay and then finally it will stop so run this code you see right line will print the text and move to the new line, okay? You see here, first it has printed, this is first line, then it has moved to the next line. In the next line, it printed this second line and it moved to the next line, this is the third line, and it moved to the next line, okay? This is what happens with the right line. So as you can see here, there are two things. One is right line, other one is right. So if you use right in place of right line, all the three statements in this program will be Printed all these three text uh, statements will be printed in the same line. For example, if I remove the line here, if I remove the line here, I'll make the right to right line. Okay, normal right I'm using. That means 
after printing this text, it will not move to the new line. Okay. The same line only, this is second line will be printed. The same line only, this third line will be printed. All these three text statements will be printed in a single line because this is not right line, this is right. Okay, run this code. You see, this first line, this second line, this third line. All the three text statements got printed in the same line because here we are using right in place of the right line. That's the reason. Okay, if you use right line, it will move to the new line and print the next text. But if you use right, it will print in the it will print uh, in the line and it will not move to the new line and the next statement also will be printed in the same line because of that reason okay that's what is the difference between right and right line right will print and stays in the same line whereas right line will print and move to the new line so here till now we are printing which type of data here string type of data string text we are printing so here we have in c sharp guys there are different type of literals so here we are only printing the string text type of literal but how to print other type of literals here we are printing the text right string text literal is nothing but the text we are printing the text so apart from printing the text we can also print the numbers we can also print a character we can also pr print a boolean value we can also print a decimal value okay floating point decimal value we can print and many other things are literal types are possible in c sharp i'll explain more about the literal types in c sharp in the upcoming session but for now just to demonstrate this print statement, how the print statement is behaving with the different type of literal types. Okay, I'll not cover the literal types in depth here, but uh, I'll take some examples of different literal types. For example, text. Text literal type will be generally in which format in C sharp? In C sharp, text literal type will be specified in the double quotes. So let's say this is an example for the text literal type. Okay, in C sharp, if you want to represent the text, you have to represent the text in the double quotes. What about numbers? Numbers directly, guys. Okay, if you want to represent nine, you don't have to surround this number nine with double quotes or single quotes or anything. Okay, directly provide nine. This is how the numbers are represented in integer numbers are represented in the C sharp. Okay, integer literal type is nine. Then character. Character means single character, guys. How single characters are represented in C sharp as part of the literal type? In C sharp, single characters are represented by surrounding with the single quotes. For example, if I say yes here surrounded by single quotes okay boolean what about boolean boolean directly either true or false only two possibilities okay only two possible literal type literal values are possible with boolean type that is true and false coming to the double double means decimal value guys okay you can give something like 3.12 here or there's something optional guys okay either you can give 3.12 or you can give 3.12 d or you can also give 3.12 capital d either uh, without d or with D, capital D. Okay, so any of these things are allowed in double. Okay, here, here mentioning the D at the end of the decimal value is optional. It's not compulsory. Okay, if you are uh, talking about double literal type in C sharp, you don't have to mention D at the end. I'll explain more about this in the literal types uh, in C sharp topic later. Okay, but for now, these examples I want to, uh, these literal types I want to print using the console dot uh, right line statements. So that's the reason I'm explaining here. Okay. Coming to the floating point, guys. Floating point, you cannot give 3.12. Okay, for floating point, 3.12 is not allowed. You have to add F. Okay, either lowercase F, F or uppercase F. You have to add the, at the end. Okay, to represent the floating point, you have to add lowercase F or uppercase F at the end. Otherwise, it will not allow. And there are other literal types I'm not going to cover. So, these are the different literal types we have in C sharp to print a text type. What we have to do to print the text type? The text which is surrounded by double quotes we have to pass inside the this right or right line statements okay like this we have to pass for example i'll write right right line here all these right lines i will convert so if you want to print text the text literal type in c sharp will be in uh, surrounded by double quotes text surrounded by double quotes is nothing but text literal type the string literal type in c sharp so we are providing here the which literal type to print the right line string literal type okay so what about the next one if i want to print the integer literal type okay values or data so we have to provide the number directly guys okay you should not surround integer literal types uh, in c sharp with the double quotes or single quotes you have to directly mention the number so directly give the literal type here so in to this right line you have to directly specify the number number will be printed in the output okay as it is now third one third one we have the character literal you know character literals should be surrounded by surrounded by single quotes so here 
if you want to print a character you have to surround that with single quotes in c sharp okay so then console dot right line put a semicolon let's print the boolean you can write uh, here directly true guys okay directly true either true or false only two possibilities again console dot right line here this time i'll say false now next double decimal value type okay so in that case console dot right line you can say 3.12 directly so here d is optional it's not compulsory you don't have to mention d at the end it's optional but you can also provide d because okay whether you provide or not it will take the same thing 3.12 lowercase d you see it is allowed similarly console dot right line 3.12 capital d if you want to okay then floating point last one last two more examples are there here console dot right line here i'll say here mandatory guys okay you cannot give 3.12 here you have to mandatory happen with the uh, letter f at the end okay it's it's not option it's compulsory okay in case of floating point either lowercase uh, f or uppercase f you can represent i'll explain more about literal types later but for now this much knowledge is enough here we are using the console dot right line print statements for printing different types of literal types in c sharp okay string literal type how to print number literal type how to print character literal how to print boolean literal types how to print double literal types how to uh print uh floating point literal types okay all these things i am explaining here let's run this code and see whether we are getting the output or not so you should print all the literal types now for us okay so it's taking some time let's wait for the output to display here yeah we got the output this is the output guys okay you see it printed all the literal types you see first uh, string literal type got uh, printed you know integer literal type character literal type okay boolean literal types uh, double literal type floating point literal types all got printed okay this is a way to print all the different type of literal types using right 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 line or right statements also you can use okay the same thing will happen right, right will print in the same line whereas right line will move to the new line after printing now guys finally before i wind up this uh, session let me show you a shortcut because this is the most used statement in uh, c sharp guys okay console dot right line is mostly used wherever we need we use console dot right line it's uh, repeatedly we keep on using whenever you write code right definitely you will write console dot right line here and there so since it is uh, required for the most of the time what i will do is uh, i'll explain a shortcut guys okay because if i type some completely it is taking time for me right if i type console dot right line and provide the circular brackets it's taking a lot of time for me to type this to overcome that problem guys there's a shortcut type cw just type cw and press tab tab that's it okay you see so simple it is whenever you want to write uh, uh write console dot write line statement type cw and press tab tab okay so this is a shortcut guys cw and press tab tab twice okay press tab twice after writing cw so that it will be auto generated by the visual studio id for you okay this is how simple it is to write console dot write line using the shortcut so hope guys you understood how to print a uh, different type of literals and different things using right and right line statements in c sharp so that's all for this session in the next session i'll cover other topic on c sharp till then see you bye bye